Look, at the end of the day, it is what it is. <laughs> Donald Trump likes to keep you and me guessing on basically everything. And he even has a pet phrase to do it. We'll see what happens. A minute to win it. We'll see what happens. I think I'll get the nomination. We'll see. We'll see what happens with Fox. Benghazi's a disaster, but we'll see what happens. But well, we'll see what surfaces. I would love to win Iowa. We'll see what happens. So, when asked about the possibility of the United States entering into a war with Iran, Trump responded this way. I'm hearing little stories about Iran. If they do anything, they will suffer greatly. We'll see what happens with Iran. And then there was a time Trump was asked about running against former Vice President Joe Biden in the 2020 election. We'll see what happens, he responded. We'll see what happens, Trump said in response to May's North Korean missile launches. We'll see what happens, he offered when questioned about the dangers of a looming trade war with China. We'll see what happens, Trump said when asked about whether he would push to repeal the Affordable Care Act. We'll see what happens, was Trump's retort on the possibility of firing special counsel Robert Mueller. We'll see what happens, Trump replied when asked whether he might pardon former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. We'll see what happens, Trump said about firing Jeff Sessions as Attorney General. We'll see what happens, Trump told reporters about whether he would fire FBI Director James Comey. Spoiler alert, he did. Look, you don't have to believe me. Just watch this. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. And we'll see how it works out. No, we'll see. I mean, we have, uh... He's a very fine man, but we're gonna we're gonna make a decision sometime tonight. We'll see what happens with Mr. Bannon. If they'd like, we'll see if we can get that pipeline built. So we'll see what happens. Why, oh why, does Trump use this particular turn of phrase so, so much? Well, in his defense, all presidents do lean on a few rhetorical crutches. Barack Obama had, let me be clear, and make no mistake. George W. Bush was more known for his malapropisms. They misunderestimated me, and it's your money. You paid for it. <sighs> the point here is that presidents talk a lot, and almost all of it is being recorded with people watching over every word. So they do tend to rely on a handful of favorite phrases to get by. It's just part of the job. But I think there's more to Trump's we'll see what happens line than just that. Go back to Trump's life before the White House as a businessman, reality TV star, and self-fashioned corporate philosopher. In his book, The Art of the Deal, sidebar, Trump has said Art of the Deal is his second favorite book behind the Bible, and sidebar, Trump lays out a line of thought that perfectly explains his over-reliance on the we'll see what happens phrase. Writes Trump, quote, I never get too attached to one deal or one approach. I always come up with at least a half dozen approaches to making it, a deal, work. Because anything can happen, even to the best laid plans. So wise, so wise. Then there's this, which is also from The Art of the Deal. Quote, most people are surprised by the way I work. I play it very loose. I don't carry a briefcase. I try not to schedule too many meetings. I leave my door open. You can't be imaginative or entrepreneurial if you've got too much structure. I prefer to come to work each day and just see what develops." End quote. This is who Trump has always been. And as he's shown many times over the past two plus years, nothing is gonna change him, not even being elected to the highest office in the country. He is not now, nor has he ever been, someone with any sort of set ideas about, well, uh, anything. It's why his positions on core issues, abortion, gay marriage, and a slew of other issues, have changed and oftentimes reversed so, so often. Everything in Trump's world is seen as a negotiation. In that way, his description of himself as a counterpuncher oh, <laughs> is accurate. His entire MO is to wait and see how things play out and then respond. He rarely acts, he prefers to react. And he's entirely willing to change his reaction within a day or even an hour if he thinks circumstances dictate it. Hence, we'll see what happens. It's a perfectly Trumpian turn a phrase. And that is the point. We make New Point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.